first of all i just want to thank everyone it is a great opportunity to be in uh, kathmandu and uh, especially in this time to uh, come to the word of god i just want to thank pastor joseph for being in having the wonderful types of fellowship with his family and same time i just want to first want to thank god for this opportunity that he has given me to share the word and i want to appreciate and thank my spiritual father who have brought me up uh, in this apostolic faith and always prayed for me and helped me to come this far i just want to highly appreciate and thank god and thank everyone and especially you know uh, we see that when uh, lord lord jesus christ uh, went into heaven before going he gave the great commission to his children spiritual children especially the pure apostles and after he went into heaven we see in the book of acts that how his disciples they carry on the task carry on the great commission that jesus handed over to them when he went to heaven and um, especially this evening i have to talk about uh, that uh, acts chapter 2 verse 42 uh, and proceeding few verses that um, give the foundation to the apostolic faith that uh, i'll just read this verse here here it says that in acts 242 and they devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and the fellowship to the breaking of bread and the prayers this devoted word if you see in greek because we know that the new testament was written in greek if you see this in greek language it uh, it, it it says that prosker terentas the word is used in greek greek for uh, devoted which we see in english uh, and it this prosker terentas word means that uh, attending one remaining by the side not leaving or not forsaking so uh, here we see that they continued steadfastly they persevered they adhered to they cling on to these four things which help them to fulfill the great commission of jesus what it says uh, we see in the acts chapter 1 uh, verse 8 that um, you will be my witness in uh, jerusalem uh, and to all judea and samaria and to the ends of the earth here uh, we see that after jesus giving this commission when he went to, when into heaven we see that apostles they carried it through and this four special um words i would explain today that um, when new people came into christ how they were helped to grow in first point it talks about that when any new people come uh, to the apostles church when uh, the 3000 was added immediately they went into these four things that first they had to uh, devote to themselves to the apostles teaching apostles doctrine uh, sometimes we can misinterpret it just receiving the apostles teaching but i would rather say that uh, they were very careful not only to listen or obey what apostles says but they were ready to practice it and you know, doing it and um, you know in our apostolic faith one word we really ask ask of we demand of in the new season is that obedience uh, to the spiritual father obedience to your apostle god has given to you and here we see the same thing that when that 3000 new people added to the church they were devoted 
to the apostles teaching apostles doctrine whatever apostles uh, say to them whatever whatever spiritual uh, father uh, ask of him to do they obeyed they practiced on they adhered to they cling on that is very important uh, to grow in faith actually you know in the in today's world what we see it is very very easy to say that i believe in jesus but it is very difficult to obey what uh, he says we more focused in today's world is uh, knowledge basis but here it talks about the obedience not knowledge so um, i want to specially uh, focus first things that when we anyone is added to christ or anyone connected to christ first things he should be focusing on obedience obedience what he learns from his spiritual father that is very important and um, king david says in uh, psalm 119 105 that uh, thy word is a lamp unto my uh, lamp lamp unto my feet and the light into my ways so it is all about that obedience to the word of god apostles they did not just speak whatever they want they were only focusing on the word of god the commands of jesus what jesus has asked them to do they were focusing on that here i would say that obey apostles teaching is hearing from the spiritual father what he is saying from the word of god and taking it taking it directly as spiritual food and applying into our lives that is very important for us and second things uh, here it talks about that in in english translation we they call it they had they were devoted to a fellowship this fellowship word in greek it is explained it the word is used in the greek uh, bible that koinonia koinonia is it's more meaning of communion communing with having fellowship with and gathering together having one mind so that is very important and you know to explain this word of fellowship i would uh, use a small illustration i have seen that when i was a small child my mother used to cook uh, food in uh, that uh, wooden oven when i have seen that my mother gives just one wood into the oven it doesn't burn but when she put four five six wood then light the uh, fire then uh, would just you know, all the wood burns very well and even if she want to um, subdue the flame what she has to do is she just takes away the uh, woods automatically fire goes down fellowship is this kinds of things that when uh, few christian brotherin believer in faith they comes together they talk about same thing they talk about their faith they talk about their testimony uh, to testify they talk about their uh, struggle seen their persecution and it works like that fire that everybody puts uh, 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 every wood that that fires add to the a big fire and it becomes a bonfire and uh, oven burns very well same way fellowship is very important for in the beginning of not only beginning of our faith i won't say it in the beginning but always in our faith to having fellowship is very important now these christians are very modernized they will say that oh i don't need to go to church i know don't need to go to my spiritual father i don't need to have fellowship with brothers i can read bible in my home i can pray in my home i can um, sing a song in my home but you cannot have fellowship alone you need other brothers other brothers in the uh, common faith so here uh, we see that um, in the early church apostles they strictly use for their spiritual children's growth fellowship was very very vital and very very important so um, 
especially I want to bring here one more illustration. Uh, right now, whole world is going through this COVID-19 situation where believers are afraid to meet together. And uh, sometimes as the pastors, we have to ask them, you just pray in your home and worship. But let me share with you some of the fact. Uh, uh, in one of my districts, there is around 40 house churches are there. When I, I just strictly observe that when this continuously three, four months, my spiritual children, they are not having fellowship. They are not coming in together. I have seen that their faith is every day by day. It is just diminishing. They are getting weaker and weaker. And uh, that's why uh, it is very important to uh, have fellowship. And in our apostolic faith, we say it is very important to have fellowship with uh, fellow brothers, our brothers and sisters. So, and in, in the apostolic church, in the early church, they strictly followed. There was lots of persecution, but still they don't stop meeting one another. And they don't stop meeting in houses, families to families. They don't stop meeting in the um, temples. That is very important for our growth. The uh, third point he talks about um, the breaking of bread. It is uh, mostly the uh, breaking of bread. Sometimes we can take that just eating. It is not actually. It is talking about the Eucharist or the Lord's Supper. It is talking about that remembering uh, the what Lord Jesus Christ uh, paid on the cross for us every day. And uh, especially if you see, if you go more forward, like uh, chap same chapter, uh, chapter 244 and 46, you will see that every day, everywhere, they used to meet. They used to partake in the Lord's table. They, they used to take part in his in a breaking of bread. Breaking of bread means they used to uh, participate in the Lord's Supper. It is very important for us that every day do we remember the cross, what Jesus had paid for us, remembering Him and being grateful for what He has done. That is uh, very important. Uh, just yesterday I was meditating on the uh, Gospel of John chapter 6. And uh, there it says that, uh, Jesus says, that if you do not take my body and my blood, you are not of me. You are not of me. You are not part of me. So, um, many churches, they practice this uh, Lord's table uh, once in a month. Yeah, I have seen churches, they take uh, once upon a year, the Catholic churches. I want to give a small example here. You know, when we practice this uh, once in a month, I, I have questions for you to ask. That, uh, what about if you take food once in a month, what will happen to you? physical food. He will die. He cannot live without food. One month. Same way, we cannot make it this Lord's table. Lord's table, it is a ritual once in a month. We should practice, practice this every day in our family. When you get up early in the morning, as a family, we can partake in Lord's table. We can remember Him. Lord and be thankful to him. Lord, thank you for what you, what you have done on the cross of Calvary every day. It is very important. And, and in apostolic church, in the early church, they used to do it every day, wherever they met. That's what written in ch chapter 2, 44 and 46. The same thing, it's, it is repeated. That wherever they, they used to meet, they participated in Lord's table. I would be encouraged today that uh, to come out of our um, traditional people is doing once in a month, so let us do once in a month. No, we should be doing this like what uh, scripture says. Is scripture is asking of once in a month? No, scripture says that very clearly that every day they used to take. So why can't we take? Why can't we remember the cross of Jesus, what he has done on the cross every day into our life? I think then much more blessings of Jesus will come into our life. So I want to really encourage us today that um, remembering Jesus every day, early in the morning, getting up, being thankful to Him, 
Lord, thank you, you died for me. This is the day you have given to me. Help me to carry your cross. That's very important. And last thing, apostles in the apostles church when they uh, a new person joined the church last is the day that they devoted themselves to prayer. That's very important, praying. And sometimes, you know, I would just want to bring an illustration that uh, people say that I believe in Jesus. What is the sign? Can anyone read anyone's heart that they believe or not? No, that's not possible. Only God knows our heart. And we know what is in our heart. But you know, this outer sign that apostolic church practiced, it considered that they are growing in faith. If is my spiritual children, they are obeying the word of God I am speaking. That's very important. Is, is my spiritual children, they are having fellowship with the fellow brother in is they are having fellowship with the spiritual father, with the apostles. That's very important. That we can see. Are they participating in Lord's table every day? Then we know that they are growing. And then are they participating in prayer? Are they devoting themselves to prayer? That's very important. So this is kinds of outward, outward results for us to see of our faith. We are growing in faith or not. These four things I would say, I would uh, uh, rather say that very vital and important to uh, justify a person, justify a spiritual son, his growth, his growing or not in the word of God, in ways of Christ. You, we, we can see these four things. What, what apostles practiced in their early church when someone, some new spiritual son uh, is born and joining uh, the church joining the family uh, apostles they strictly follows, followed these four principles that's very important and very vital which help that apostles to carry on the mission God has given to them to pass it on to the next generation to prepare them the spiritual sons spiritual children to prepare them these four points was vital tools used by apostles for their spiritual children's growth. So I want to repeat once again these four points. Many of us we are serving as a pastors and we want our newborn spiritual children to grow and be fruitful in their faith. But uh, I want to bring to them these four points. Are we teaching them to obey what spiritual Others are saying their doctrine, their word, how much will be obedient they are, how much uh, uh, they respect the spiritual father, his words. Obedience is very important. Uh, in, in the book of Samuel, uh, 1 Samuel, we see that Samuel says, when Saul disobeyed God and disobeyed the words was spoken by Samuel, Samuel, they are rebuked. Word of God came to Samuel, he said that God is not interested much about the sacrifices we give. But first he wants us to obey. Obedience is better than uh, sacrifice. So here uh, I would say that uh, in our church today also can grow like early church. When our new spiritual children are joining, I think these four points uh, we need to really focus that strictly to follow. Are they every day taking the food from the word of God spoken by the apostles, spoken by the spiritual father? Are they serious about it? Are they obeying it? That's very important. Second point, are they, are they having fellowship uh, with other fellow brethren, with the spiritual father? Are they spending time with one another, uh, sharing one another's concern? And you know, I, I like about early church another thing that um, how united they were to share with one another. In the same chapter, uh, chapter 2 we see that they were ready to even sell their properties and bring uh, in the book of Apostles, we see that bring into the Apostles' feet uh, whatever they have and sharing together as a commonly. 
That's called fellowship. That's very important. And uh, third thing, it is very important. One second, I have to repeat that is uh, the uh, Lord's table, breaking of bread. Uh, breaking bread, sometimes it is quite like how bread can be broken. To this world, bread mostly mostly be tear. But but in in Jewish culture, that bread was baked like cake. It is thick and also it is crunchy. So it need to be broken and eaten. That's why uh, they use the word that breaking of breads. And then lastly prayer. So I to conclude here to this message that if anyone want to grow in Christ after they're born, spiritually, as a new child, if you want your spiritual children after they're born, if you want them to grow, these four vital points, you and me, we should strictly follow. And if we follow this, and I would say that our promise there in the word of God, you will never be unfruitful. God will bring fruits. God will help you to grow and uh, bring fruits. And lastly, I want to thank you uh, for this wonderful time. And just not just to speak, I have seen these four points to check it in my life time to time. Am I following this as a leader, as a spiritual father, as an apostle? Am I having fellowship with my fellow brother? Am I uh, ob ob being obedient to my spiritual father in his word, what he says to me? And do I give importance to his word, what he says? Bible says very clearly, no one has seen God. How can we obey God if we cannot obey our pastor? If we cannot obey our spiritual father? That's very important. Let us follow these four principles and our spiritual life will be very fruitful and very helpful and it will bring glory and honor to Him. Thank you very much for this uh, precious time and I hope in coming days all of us will be growing in Christ together and uh, bringing uh, more fruits. This 2021 will be a blessed year for us, fruitful year for us, that uh, as in the Apostles Church, uh, 3000, they were around a um, few hundred peoples and suddenly uh, 3000 people joined. Same way, God will bring revival into, into our society, through our life, if we are heard to these four principles to grow and be matured and to be strong. These four points will help us. Let us try to obey. May God bless all of us. Thank you very much.